Hello everyone, I'm Marcel, back again with The Pulse. Today is the culmination of three years of taking in a man. I'm going to go over 20 of the primary benefits that I've noticed. This is not an all-inclusive list. Myself and others have from time to time experienced other things, but I sat down in 15 minutes and just had a stream of thought and wrote down 20 things that jumped right out at me that I didn't have to dig for, I didn't have to think a lot about. When you think about it, aging is such a difficult thing to handle for 40, 50, 60 year olds, obviously beyond that. But those are the moments that most of us see a turning point. And it's at a critical point in our lives where we're either beginning to earn better money or we've started to earn better money. We have families we wanna take care of. We may have businesses with employees that we wanna service and help through their careers and grow the business further. And then suddenly life hits us with these interferences, these slowdowns, these health issues, these pain issues. And some of the things I talk about here certainly are included in the areas where we see decline. I call it a managed decline, but that's being kind. It's a devastating decline for many, many people. And NMN has helped rejuvenate myself and thousands of others who have interacted with this channel, probably millions of others around the world. So I want to share with you my top 20 so that you, if you're taking an amend, you'll see what the kinds of things are that you should look for. And if you're not yet taking an amend, you can consider it, especially if you're having problems in any of these areas. The thing most people say when they talk about NMN is their energy and focus improves. And a lot of the things I talk about are directly associated and resulting from energy and focus improving. But those are the first couple of things, energy. The first thing you notice when you start to feel the changes from taking NMN, the energy. You are suddenly able to do more. Um, you're willing to do more. Uh, it is living in Europe for me. I love it, but it can be tough if you're low energy because there's so much to do and actually living in Europe requires expending more energy. You're gonna walk more, you're gonna get out more, you'll probably ride bikes more. Uh, I'm certainly playing a lot of sports here that weren't as convenient in the States because we didn't have tennis clubs the way that we have here that I've gotten into, but it could be any kind of club that you get into. It could be soccer, it could be anything. And in Europe, it's just an active place. You see people all the time out jogging, running, and just doing all kinds of sports. People are active in Europe and the area, the landscape, the weather lend itself to that. So getting my energy up was a big thing for me and it was pretty abrupt. You know, it was pretty immediate that I noticed the change and it was really an eye opener because I didn't think that taking a supplement could have that big of an impact. The next thing I've listed, which a lot of people talk about is improved focus. Um, this was a big thing, time online, you know, doing a lot of work like a lot of us do online. I would get fatigued even after 20, 30 minutes. I had to really be careful about budgeting my time. My eyes would get blurry. I would get tired. I'd need a nap. And that started to dwindle. It started to go away simply from taking NMN. That was an immediate change that I noticed. And staying in a task longer gave me a better quality result. And I'm still benefiting from that to this day. I'm guilty about spending too much time online like a lot of us, but I'm really not feeling worn down by it. So I'm really able to pour myself into various marketing work that I'm involved in. I'm a lot more motivated. That was the third thing I noticed. Uh, probably, again, relating to that energy and focus. But I was motivated specifically to do more. Once I realized that something that I was consuming could make that big of a difference, that was the kick in the butt I needed to change my diet. And I did some research to brain fog because even though I was feeling better energy and focus, there was still this sort of blurriness that I wanted to get rid of. And I was more aware of it since taking NMN because there were these other improvements. So I was motivated to look into it and I discovered that sugar can be a really bad culprit when it comes to brain fog. I stopped all refined sugar at that point and I still eat very, very little unless it's maybe in something fresh baked and the brain fog cleared within a couple days. That was another big shock. So I was motivated to make more changes, motivated to eat better, 
motivated to start exercising more because Enamin was helping me and I began really getting hungry to look at what else could I be doing to enhance this? How far could I turn back the clock? I was already feeling like I did 10, 20 years before. What else could I do? How far back can I go? And that quest, that search continues to this day, three years later. And as I've said here on this channel recently, oftentimes I feel like I did when I was 25, 30 now. And I, that was unthinkable three years ago. Absolutely unthinkable. I'm also more impulsive and impulsive in the good sense because I find myself wanting to go do things like right in the moment. I feel that impulse and that drive, um, you know, to go jogging, to go out and go for a walk or ride bikes or go out to eat or whatever the case may be. Take a walk after dinner. I feel so much better physically that I'll get into in a moment, but I get these impulses more. And it sort of shocked me at times like uh, to dance, to jump around the house, to dart up the stairs, which was a slower process pre-NMN. But I had this motivation to dart up the stairs. I was so impulsive. I had so many impulses that it did get a little dangerous Early on, like six, seven months after I started taking NMN, I overdid it physically, caused a couple injuries. So you kind of have to force yourself to take it step by step. Go a bit slow because your body needs to prepare for the enhanced activity that you may want to do as I've wanted to do. But now I'm doing a lot better job three years later and I'm adding a lot of weights. I'm adding a lot of fitness. I'm playing tennis a lot more often. I'm running more than I did. So it takes time, but your body can adapt to it over time. Which brings me to the other thing that changed dramatically, which is fitness. Again, because of these other things. I have really tackled fitness because really it kind of is the definition of how youthful you are. How fit are you? Uh, what are you capable of doing? And even getting out there and running with my kids or playing tennis with my kids, it re they really keep me young, but I'm able to hang with them. I can still out sprint my 13 year old, which is quite amazing. I can really fly, I have to be honest, I've shown some video clips of that before. I can really fly when I run a sprint. What took time was to get the hamstrings to where they wouldn't really knock me out for two, three days after the sprinting. And lately I've accomplished that. So it's been a big step even the past few weeks where I can jump rope a lot more, I can do lunges more, and I can sprint more. Sometimes those activities would push me over the edge and I'd have a little setback, then I'd have to recover, so on and so forth. But it's been a lot better uh, lately. So you can improve even more over time recovery. That is in and of itself the key because with fitness, uh, if you can't recover, you can't get stronger. You can't improve really because you get stuck in the cycle of pushing yourself and then having to rest several days, pushing yourself and then having to rest several days. So you never get kind of over that hump. But when your recovery improves, and I notice it hour by hour after I really exert myself heavily, which I do on the weekends. I run 6K. I try to beat my time. I beat last week's time this Sunday by two and a half minutes because I really push myself. Felt it more yesterday, which was Monday. Today I feel great, but hour by hour, I could really feel myself recovering, which is quite cool because you could be a little sore in the morning after a workout and be great by evening because hour by hour, if your results are anything like mine, you're getting better, you're getting stronger, you're recovering, and you're ready for the next activity. My outlook has improved. My outlook has changed. It's still changing. What I mean by that is what I'm going to be doing for the next several years. How active am I going to be? What sports am I going to be involved with? I'm still uh, kind of plotting and planning to return to play basketball, which was really my main sport when I was younger because I keep getting fitter and fitter. And I think I could hang with a lot of people uh, younger than me on the basketball court. Most people my age don't even dream of playing basketball, at least in, competitively, but I'm starting to think about it. My outlook in general has changed because I have so much more time. I'm getting so much more done. I'm more productive. I'm fitter. I'm healthier. I feel great. Uh, my head is clear. And yes, it's changed my attitude and my outlook. The physical transformation. I mean, if I could be a bit vain for a moment, yes, I do think I look a ton better than I did four or five years ago. 
And it's really nice to look in the mirror and see myself again, what I view myself as being. Yes, an older version. Yeah, there's some lines and cracks from where I lost so much weight that there's still some leftover skin. Some people recommended, hey, why don't you get some fillers? I don't want to do that kind of thing because I want you to see what my protocol is actually doing for me in a natural way. So I haven't done anything unnatural like that. It's only been natural supplements, better eating, better exercise, better sleep. The transformation has been less puffiness around the face, hair's a bit softer. I don't think it's any thicker, but I don't think it's any thinner. I don't think there's less gray hair, but I don't think there's more. So I've kind of suspended myself in time. There may be a little bit less gray, but when I turn sideways, it does drift down here on the bottom. It kind of tapers and down on the bottom you see more gray which i see from other people who take nmn so there's something about it uh, darkening from the top down as i mentioned my sleep has improved and this changes a lot of things i have less naps i dream a lot more vividly every night especially since i started that third dose of nmn so i spread it over three doses i take one before bed that has really improved my sleep even more which surprised me because some people say they can't sleep when they take nmn but i actually sleep better i don't know if it's because my tolerance for it is a lot better having taken it now for three years but i do take nmn three times a day and i feel the effects of it a lot more throughout the day. So I think it's enhanced the benefits for me, all of these benefits, since I went to three times a day. Interesting thing, my memory recall has improved. I can remember specific events in time. I can remember how it felt in that moment in time. Things almost feel like implanted memories because it's so vivid and so clear, and I can literally feel the air, I can feel the temperature from those moments in time in my history, in my past. So that's kind of interesting and a little freakish at the same time, but memory recall has definitely improved. I've mentioned this before, and a lot of people have dittoed this, hot and cold sensitivity. That surprised me because no one had talked about it before I started talking about it. Uh, I noticed it first in the winter after I first started taking NMN. I found myself going outside without a jacket or without a sweatshirt. Uh, maybe it's to take a short walk. Maybe it was just to go to the car or maybe it was to take the trash out. But I wasn't cold. It wasn't bothering me. It was cold. I could feel it, but it wasn't bothering me. And I stopped getting that deep winter, deep bone cold, that bone chilling cold that went away, those shivers. Um, that was something that started with 40, 45, 50 and just kind of worsened over the years. I'd get that bone chilling cold in the winter. That has gone away completely. Also, I mentioned hot. I enjoy the hot weather now in the summer when I used to dread it. I can deal with it a lot better. I can deal with it when I'm playing tennis a lot better. So I've also improved in my the way that I can handle hot temperatures as well as cold. I've had reduced pain and I had a lot of pain issues. I had pain walking, I had pain driving. I had back pain so bad, I used to put tennis balls in my lower back and try and drive around. It didn't help much, but I was willing to try anything. I was taking ibuprofen, I had bad back pain, and I had other pain. These hamstrings I mention often, they were in bad shape. It really precluded me from doing the exercise I wanted to do and trying to play tennis early on with my kids was really tough because I had so many pain issues. And now I'm pretty much pain-free, which a lot of people also echo in the comments. It's a great thing. It's a great feeling to get rid of those pain issues. My sense of smell has improved, has returned, I should say. Um, things smell a lot better. And when something's pungent, I can notice that better as well. It's been kind of strange. Taste, sense of taste has improved um, because eating is more fun, drinking is more fun. Now I've reduced the alcohol I drink, but what I do drink tastes a lot better. Wine tastes better with food, that kind of thing. Also, my vision has improved, which I've talked about before, and my enjoyment of seeing things. Like if I saw a sunset or if I saw the vineyards, if I saw the ocean, I seem to enjoy it more. My sense of what I'm seeing, my appreciation for whatever view, beautiful view I happen to be looking at is a lot better. I don't have to remind myself, hey, that's beautiful. I feel it. And that's pretty inspiring. It's pretty cool. Allergies have 90, 95% vanished, gone away. And I had a lot of them. 
I had a lot of allergies. I had a lot of grass allergies, pollen allergies, something I suffered from since I was a kid, and that went away. Also, kind of related to that, my asthma went away, and that was a big problem. My allergies had turned into asthma in my 40s and became a really tough thing to manage. I actually moved away from a couple places. And then the asthma was feeding anxiety attacks. I had over a dozen ER visits uh, after my 40s, starting to experience this feeling like I was going to die, like I couldn't breathe. And it was really tough. It would subside over time, but it became really hard to manage after NMN, zero anxiety attacks in the past three years. That's probably the biggest thing personally. Um, it's had the most impact on me personally, and it's really opened up my life and opened up my mind because I'm quite fearless when I used to be so anxious about things. In general, I'm less sick than I used to be. Uh, it's less severe when I do get sick. It's in shorter durations, so I'm not as sick as long. And obviously, that's a wonderful thing. Nobody likes to get sick. Used to get a lot of sinus infections, so maybe it's related somehow to the whole asthma, allergy thing, but I'm just not getting sick as often, and I'm very, very grateful for that. Lastly, uh, and I'm glad that you have had patience to stick with me till the end, um, my patience has improved, which is very important because I have kids, two sons, 10 and 13, and you need patience. You need patience in life. In Germany, we wait in a lot of lines, cues, and you know, it can be frustrating at times to be waiting around for something or just dealing with somebody who might not be pleasant to me that day. Um, and that happens anywhere. And it certainly happens in Germany because Germans can be quite stubborn. And I'm a lot more patient at dealing with it. I love living here, but from time to time, the people are different and that can rub on me. But I'm a lot better at dealing with it and a lot more patient about a lot of things. When I need to wait for something, it doesn't bother me as much. I have a lot more control over those kinds of impulses. So that's my top 20 benefits. There's more. I'm sure you guys will have some more. Uh, chime in in the comments if any of these resonated with you or if you're experiencing some things I didn't mention. I'll be back with you soon. Thanks for watching.